spending it on distributing it in dividends, and it means they're not using it for CapEx, capital expenditure. You know, so they could just hoard it. That's retained earnings, right? But it's profits. It goes to shareholders. So it goes to the 1% of Americans that own 90% of the stocks. Okay, now let's get the facts, all right? Those there there are two facts. places they can go. Those are facts, Mr. Romney. Hold on. It's my turn. You get your turn. Now it's my turn, all right? First of all, you're right. It goes to dividends, all right, which is to the owners. But they're not the 1%. All right, they're not only the 1%. I'm sure among the dividends go to the 1%, but also go to the people who have pensions. All right, there's a guy. You know the, are you in the 1%? No. No? He's got dividends and, and retirement plans, 401ks. They're filled of the, of the dividends that come out from corporations. That's, that's number one. Number two, you are right. They can go into retained earnings, which then can be used for capital expenditures or growing the business or hiring people or working capital. When a business has profit, it can do good things. Give it to the shareholders and grow the enterprise. And by the way, the only way you can hire people is if it grows the enterprise. Now, corporations, uh, they, they're made up of people, and then, of course, the buildings that people work in. The buildings don't pay taxes. The, 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 uh, the only people that, well, the only entities that pay taxes are people. And so corporations are collections of people that are trying to have good jobs for themselves and promote the future. And so uh, the corporations are made up of people, and the money goes to people, either to hire people or to pay shareholders. And so they're made up of people. So somehow thinking that there's something else out there that we could just grab money from and get taxes from and everything would be better that doesn't involve people, why well, there's still people. And what I want to do is make America a place where those corporations that have that money decide to invest here. I was with a, comp with a guy who uh, runs a big uh, chemical company. He said, we've just announced a $20 billion factory in Saudi Arabia. I said, why? He said, we wanted to build it in Pennsylvania, but the regulators in this country are not willing to act to allow us to get a hold of the natural gas, so we're going to have to go somewhere else. Tens of thousands of jobs lost, not by the corporations, but by government not doing its job. I want this to be the place where corporations, people, from all over the world, want to invest here, grow here, start their businesses. I've had the occasion of helping start businesses, trying to make them better, trying to grow them. That's how we get jobs. The only two places we can get jobs. One is with government, everybody working for government. We've seen nations that have tried that. Hasn't worked out. The only system that's ever worked in the history of the world to lift people out of poverty is free enterprise. Nothing else has worked. Look at Cuba, look at North Korea, look at the Soviet Union, they're bankrupt. Only free enterprise. Look at China, all these years under communism and socialism. Poverty, impoverished for generations. They finally adopt some form of free enterprise like we have, allowing corporations to exist and have profit. And guess what happens? Tens of millions of people a year come out of poverty. It's marvelous, the vision of the founders. If you can come up with one that's better, that what, was, that what was brought forward by John Adams and George Washington and, and Thomas Jefferson, I'm all ears. But until then, I'm in favor of the one that was presented by the founders of this country, and I'll promote it. Thank you.